What similarities do you see in the greatest athletes you worked with um, compared to the greatest CEOs or executives you worked with? Obsessive. So what characteristics or traits? Obsessiveness. That's, that's like the number one, right? You have to be obsessed. But you have to be obsessed, but also understand the game. And that's, that's what I see. You know, it's very hard to do anything great and not be obsessed. You know, but you also, again, the great ones know that there's also a time to shut it off. And that's, and that's, um, that's the gift that I found the best of the best have. So you think, you think about a Derek Jeter, you know, Derek Jeter was one of the last players to the ballpark and one of the first players to leave. But when he was there, it was game on. And when, and with a lot of the CEOs and executives I work with, they have a start time and they have an end time and they do their best to not bring any of it home with them. The other thing is what I have found again with a lot of executives and a lot of the, um, the, the, the top pr professionals that I've worked with is again, they, I talked about pace, they dictate the pace. And what I've found is they like to have their own personal time. They're not bouncing here, running there, bouncing there, running here and all over the place. They're very intentional with time. And they're very intentional with their schedule and they're very intentional with their scheduled activities. They know what activities are high yield and what activities are low yield. And when you do too many low yield activities, you never feel fulfilled and you never move the needle. So when you look at your schedule and you look at your day and say, what the hell am I doing today? It better have activities that are impactful and high yield. Because the other thing that many CEOs and leaders deal with is paranoia this nervousness and the best of the best I found, they don't have that to the level that most people have it, but that nervousness, that nail biting, that, that knee, you know, uh, wiggling that, that folks do, you know, that's, there's a lot of nervous energy and the best of the best, they, they've learned to not really have that because they're, there's a level of trust in themselves. There's a lot of trust in the routine and there's just a lot of trust that everything's going to work out.